Hi everyone, it's Gwen from Hummingbird Tarot, and today I'm going to do a quick review and a walkthrough of the tarot deck that's out from Biddy Tarot. I was hesitant about getting this at first. Um, I actually had it in my cart for a really long time, decided not to get it, and then I ended up getting it in a tarot exchange shortly after I took it out of my cart. So I kind of feel like it was it was meant to come to me. When I first opened it up and looked at it, the initial thing that hit me that I really liked the most was just how it feels. The sides have like gold gilding on it. Um, it's a matte finish and it's really soft and it just feels super silky in your hands. I also initially was a little concerned about how simple the designs are on each of the cards and I'll go through, I'll do a flip through um, in, in just a moment. But I was worried that there, there wasn't enough pictures on the front to draw from. What ended up happening is that because it was so simple, the design, it felt like the messages were very clear. It just said, hey, this is what it is. It was very straightforward, very, very easy to do readings from. Um, and I really liked it. It's, it's based on Rider Waite Smith, um, a traditional deck. I'm gonna go ahead and switch uh, cameras now and do a flip through for you. Okay, so this is what the box looks like that the Everyday Tarot deck from Biddy Tarot comes in. Um, and this is by uh, Running Press. And um, it's a pretty solid box. It's got a magnetic closure. But then it comes in this clear box on the inside. And I have to say, I actually hate the box. Um, and I can see myself not wanting to keep the cards in here because it was kind of hard to get the cards out. So they were in here at first. And this little strip that's right here, I actually thought I was tearing the box the first time I got into it this was sealed and then that broke um, and I just feel like I'd be scared I'm gonna tear this part or, or ruin the box um, so I'm not probably gonna keep my cards in here uh, in fact I already have a bag in mind I have uh, a really pretty purple um, bag with with yellow satin on the inside that that is um, the perfect I think um, companion to this deck but so that it also comes with a little book what you would call the little white book if I can hold on to it here um, and it's got very basic information on the cards here so I'm gonna set this off to the side so I also just to take a look at the deck here um, it's super feel small and it feels good in my hands and let me show you the thickness next to I have a traditional um, bicycle deck here. This is a full deck and you can see it is thicker and the card stock is thicker than a normal um, deck. But that's some perspective there. It is the exact same size uh, around as that deck of cards. And I'm actually going to be comparing this to universal weight tarot deck. So you can see what the traditional cards look like and this is something that I like to know before I decide if I want to buy a deck or not. So we're just going to go through, um, I'm going to flip through the whole deck. Here we go. So you can see it stays very closely to a traditional Rider Waite Smith deck but you don't have quite as much detail in the images. That one's a little different. I like this one, how she's got the stars on the hair. A little different, but very similar. A lot more women. You can see that's a woman on this deck. stuck. 
And I was worried because of the gilding on the outside that they would stick together. And that's actually the first time they have stuck together. I have used this stick um, a few times already and they haven't stuck together at all during any of my previous readings. Very similar. There's only one person in this image though. I do like that there's a lot more women represented on this deck. And even I should mention the gold in here is the same color gold that's on the outside here. It's it's um, iridescent, and then the the purple is just a matte finish. It's probably hard to tell that in the images here. But so there's only three colors: the white, the gold, and the purple. Oh, I didn't show you the back of the cards. That's what they look like. I'm really excited <laughs> to be able to get to use this deck again. I had um, put it in order and intended to record this video um, couple weeks ago and I just haven't been able to get to it and I found myself going through withdrawals wanting to get this deck but also being too lazy to want to um, put it back in order again so I, I used other decks but I gotta say this is my new favorite deck probably just because um, I grew up playing cards playing cards and the size of these cards just feels so comfortable in my hands which is probably part of why I was I have that feeling that this is just a very comfortable deck to use There you go. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the flip through of the deck. Let me know if there's any other decks you want me to walk through for you and I will go ahead and do that. Just put a comment down below and like the video and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.